Hello, James here, and today I will be your tour guide for Edinburgh. The outside temperature is 10 degrees. We have a 10 mile an hour westerly wind. It's cloudy with sunshine for a change, so I might have to put the aircon on. So, Edinburgh is built on seven hills, and the, the most famous being Arthur Seat. So, I thought, what better place than Edinburgh to test out the e pedal? My original plan was to get up at four in the morning. Obviously, I read the daylight system all wrong. Obviously, it was the break of day, so it was still dark at four. I wanted to go early, so I wouldn't need to be doing this, sitting in traffic. I decided to go back to sleep for an hour, not setting my alarm. And then it was 10 o'clock when I got up. So now, we will have a little bit of extra time between traffic to chat about random things and about the e-pedal. So it's actually great for situations like this. I mean, as you can see on the camera, it's not that steep, but it gives you a good sense of, you know, everyday use. Obviously, we're going to go down some mad hills in Edinburgh and up them and see how the e-pedal handles itself. The video will probably be cut all over the place. So we were going to go from the least steep hill to the most steep hill and I will be judging that via the angle of the camera on the gimbal. Hopefully it will give you guys more of a sense of how steep the road is. Grandma's walking past. I'm going to apply the e-pedals now as if I'm parking up, so I've let go. We're at a stop, so it, it handles it for fairly well. The camera's readjusting itself. This is how steep this road is. This is how steep Kirkbury is. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, do a U-turn and then head back up and we'll try and stop roughly about the same spot. So this is Kirkbury part 2. So we're doing about 20 miles an hour and I'm going to park up over here. And I'm going to let go now. Okay, so Kirkbury no problem, it's fairly steep. It's pretty much up there on the steep hills of Edinburgh. Ah, it looks fairly impressive. It's very uh, San Francisco, this, this road. It goes up and down, up and down. Wow, dude, didn't want to stop, did he? You have arrived Mr. at your destination, it. ending the route guidance. Oh, it's getting steeper again. This road's a... Uh, this is like Regen Hill, isn't it? Step back, Regen Hill! Okay, camera steady. So that's the steepness of this road. Isn't too bad. Let's get to the top, do a U-turn and do the test back down. Here, yeah, Rod. Still haven't touched the brakes yet. Right, let's uh, apply the E-pedals and see if it comes to a standstill. So, three, two, one. Takes a little bit of time, doesn't it? camera going to be adjusting itself or is that this is actually how steep we are wow this is a steep hill it's quite good with these uh, barriers here it's giving priority it gives us a good sense or a good chance to test out the e-pedal Okay, so we are going to go down Cranston Street and use the e-pedal and then we'll come back up as well just to 
I'll do a U-turn down below. Hopefully no one's following me. Right, so let's see how steep Cranston is. So this is E-pedal on. This isn't actually the steepest point of the road. Actually, I think... If, so the E-pedal held quite well there, didn't it? This is fairly steep. This is the steepest point. Look at that. How steep is that? So, it's, so that's how long it takes to readjust itself to, to slow down. So it can hold a, a quite a steep angle. That was, a, that was good. Right, let's uh, find a place to do a U-turn and head back up. I think here is the steepest point. So it's still holding okay. No rollback or anything. Seems to be very effective. Let's uh, go up to speed and let go. Oh! That worked a treat! So this is near Edinburgh Castle. So you're getting a good view of the brickwork around Edinburgh near the Royal Mile. Rolling haggis. <laughs> it's that a thing. Do they actually roll haggis down a hill? I thought it was supposed to be eggs. Right, so we're here at the sports centre. It's called Midlothian Snow Sports Centre and it's up the top of a hill. It has a dry ski slope. You can come here for snowboarding. Tubling? Tubling? Really? Hmm, okay. You can uh, go down in a big inflatable dinghy, tyre thing I suppose, chairlift ride and a nice cafe. Let's find out how the e-pedal handles Hill's End. What is this haggis rolling business? I'll need to, I'll need to find that out. Find out what that is, that just sounded mad. Someone roll the haggis down the hill, and then the people at the bottom of the hill do they catch it and stop cooking the haggis? And then you get the haggis and you take it back up the top of the hill, cooked for the judges. Don't know. <laughs> haggis rolling, love it. Right, car parking, let's look for space. Ah, oh, e-pedal kicking in. Does the job. It's actually quite steep here. Parking to my left. Can I go left? It's one way. Let's go in and find out, shall we? Oh, this is steep, this bit. Huh. Holding. Holding. Put the camera on so I can see the road. Oh, the camera's awesome. It's like playing GTA. Need to do a video about the camera at some point. The parking sensors. Try and get to 20. Okay, 20. And I'll apply it now. Oh man, I'm right past it. You see how long that took? Yards, turn left. Could also be the, the, the... Right, let's try this again. Right, 20. I'm doing 20, yeah? And there's a lay-by to my left. I'm going to let go. Come round here. And stops. So... So at a constant speed at 20 going downhill, it seems to be... A slight delay 
on the actual stopping yeah it's okay and uh yeah it's uh it's something that you have to be careful with yeah when you're using the e-pedal going down you can't rely on it overly going uphill it's amazing it does the trick and that was actually a nice interesting test that was different from what I'm actually currently trying to achieve but I suppose it's a, another thing to for us to learn about the e-pedal and how it works so we are leaving the haggis rolling hills of Hill End and we are heading to our next hill Right, so we're at the bottom of Carlton Hill in Edinburgh. It's probably going to be the steepest road today. So the bottom of this road has been closed off, linking to Leith Walk. This feels like my own private stretch of hill road that the Edinburgh Council has kindly closed off for today's test. Obviously, they didn't. But it's a, it's a good opportunity without other cars following me. So let's see how the e-pedal handles this very, very steep looking road. Let's see if it actually rolls back. I'll try not to hit the brake. Obviously there won't be anyone behind me. So that's a, a good, good thing. So let's, uh, let's go. Oh, jeez. Right, let go. Ah, so far it's holding here quite well. Let's uh, go further up. Let's, uh, let's go 10 miles an hour ish and then let go. Oh, that's actually quite impressive, isn't it? I mean, it's not. It's not the. Uh, it's not steep, right? I need to move over to one side. Where's he going? The road's closed, pal. Maybe he's just parking up. Right, let's give this another go. Further up. Let's get to this point. Oh, this this next bit. That dude's doing a U-turn. Right here looks fairly steep as well. Let's see if I can uh, test this before. Oh, where's he going? Wow, so much for uh, a privately closed off road, eh? Seems to be quite a lot of people coming up and down here. Right, I'm going to try and do a U-turn. There you go. Ah, uh, that's the problem with electric cars, people can't hear you, can they? Thing it's a 20 mile an hour zone around here. Right, so we're gonna go down Carlton Hill. Oh my goodness. It's as steep as the first time when I went down it. Right, let's see how the e-pedal. Right, so here it holds fine. So we're gonna accelerate. Let go now. You gonna stop? Still rolling. Okay, so it stopped. I wonder if it's the, the cobbles uh, 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 holding the car at this point. Right, let's head down a bit. Let's see if there's a. Bring that down to here. Okay, let go of the accelerator. Ooh, the e pedal. It's, it's a little bit slow to. It's not as good downhill as it is uphill. But this is a this is a steep hill. Right. It does hold on a hill this steep. That's quite impressive actually. Actually, where did those other cars go? Right, 
Right, time to go back up. Give it another go. Oh, this. Where'd that car come from? They must be sneaking in somewhere. Right, I'm gonna pull up here because I need to find out where we are going next. Oh, e pedal parking on hill. Here we go. Here's one for you. Ah, reverse. Oh, it rolled. I nearly put my foot on the brake there. Ah, I don't trust it. Right. Never park on the hill with uh, trusting the e-pedal. Sorry, I nearly said the, the B word. It was flipping steep. <laughs> okay, so the e-pedal is holding now, yeah. So I, I'm going to sign out here and find our next location. I'm charging the car now. And it's safe to say that Carlton Hill is the steepest hill or road in Edinburgh. I think that concludes our test on how good the e-pedal is. I think it's pretty impressive that you can hold on that sort of angle and also downhill even though we still have that slight slippage where it keeps rolling a little bit where it's trying to figure out. It doesn't seem to doesn't seem to hold downhill as well as it is uphill. But you know I think it did an amazing job. So I'd like to say thanks for watching this episode of ePedal, how steep can you go? If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Oh my goodness, do you see that drop? Ah, it's like a roller coaster this. My goodness, I think this is gonna win.